because I thought the photo system were um, the electrons getting excited and then the cytochrome system. This is a, what we call a biochemical cascade between the systems. Okay. So technically, this is the excitation piece. This is the excitation oh, piece. This goes that way. It makes a, that's and they're right. actually biochemical switches in plants that when they get enough NADPH, they basically flip a switch here that shunts the electrons in the other direction. Uh, okay. All right, questions, comments, issues? Yes? So basically, without the third oxygen chain, it's a cycle. If we start at photosystem one and end at photosystem one, that's the cyclic part. Mm -hmm. If we start in two and go to one and then out, that's non cyclic. Any, yes? So is that the other yep, cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation. All right, last chance on questions before we see, see how simple? If you don't have questions, you know everything, we're moving on. If you have questions, we'll answer. What actually usually happens is by Monday you realize you really don't know half of what you thought you did and you ask questions and that's okay too. Yes? Just, just for clarification, the PS, PS1 and PS2 are merely the vertical excitation of the electrons. It's the excitation center of those electrons. Okay. In, in a strict biological sense, it's not even vertical because oh, okay. they're just within the chloroplast. Okay. It's vertical okay. here just to right. show low energy and high energy. Yes? Um, does that hydrogen ion just go to waste if you're in the sickle? sickle? They would accumulate in the cell and eventually get used up or diffuse out of the cell based on the pH level. So you're exciting the electrons at PS2 and it's going up, and when it goes down the cytochrome system, is it the same excited electron? Yes. So then it gets excited again? Yes. And again, this has happened one at a time. No, there are billions of electrons moving at once. And does this actual electron wind up back with this actual hydrogen over there? Probably not. But an electron will end up with a hydrogen ion at some point. All right, yes? So if the electron goes through cycle and it goes into the PS1 again and then yep. back out? Yep, it'll, it'll keep cycling through cytochrome into PS1, back to cytochrome into PS1, until at some point this switch turns back on because we run low on NADPH, and then it'll just run it that way and make an ADPH. Mm -hmm. And again, it's because life tends to be rather conservative and rather persistent, so it's not gonna waste sunshine just because it's full up on NADPH. All right, has anybody discovered a problem yet? If you look at our equation for photosynthesis, What's one of the things we said was a product of photosynthesis? Carbon dioxide. What are things that, look, uh, that photosynthesis produces? We take, we take water, we take CO2, we make oxygen and what? Glucose. What's missing from our picture? Glucose. We made our oxygen, it's right here. We didn't make any glucose yet, and that's really kind of the point. So what does that mean? It means we're not done. Just the first half of the story. All right. Now we can talk about that. See, and you were just hoping for the nights when we only had one topic all night. Remember the first lecture? You were like, oh, we keep jumping around. Can't we stay on one thing? <laughs> yes, here we are. It just takes a little longer. All right, so if we look at this, the next thing we need to talk about is the dark reactor.